Welcome back to the Sports Report. Joining me live in studio tonight, some members of the defending three-time state champions in girls golf, Lima Central Catholic, joined by head coach Dan Reineke, senior Emma Mayers, and junior Bridget Mulcahy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for spending some time. You guys uh, don't get too plagued often by lightning delays, although you're susceptible to the weather just like anybody else, it seems. I don't think we've ever had a lightning delay. We've <laughs> had a lot of rain, but no lightning delays. Well, let's hope that remains intact as you guys head into state. And we've got a few minutes to talk to you guys. And first of all, I want to start with you, Coach. Um, you know, you were part of the kind of the foundation of this program back in 2001. Uh, you've been able to see it. You haven't been with it the entire time, but for the vast majority of it, this is uh, the 12th appearance at state and the 20 years of the program's existence. Uh, looking back on that, have you had a chance to kind of take a look back and think about the, the accomplishments of all the girls that have come through the program and what that has meant to you personally? Uh, it's, it's been a great experience looking back and I have. Uh, when we originally started the, the program, there was only one division of girls golf and we were competing against all the schools. As it grew, then it obviously went to two divisions and uh, it, it's, it's, con it's continuing to grow, but it's been fun watching these girls and some of my girls now almost 20 years removed from when they were in high school, uh, you know, seeing what they've gone to accomplish in their own life. You know, and before we'll get to the kind of the rest of the state, Gulf State stuff, but you were uh, inducted into the LCC Hall of Fame just a few months ago. Uh, you've, maybe you've had a couple months to kind of reflect on that. A lot of former students, former athletes, uh, recommended you for that. Um, reflecting on that, you've had a couple of months, what has that meant to you to be a part of that prestigious group and knowing that you've had some, such an impact on so many people? Um, it, it's, it's very humbling to know that, you know, I had a number of athletes who were kind enough to nominate me, but as, as I've said, you know, I only got there by the help of the students, their parents, and the community, which have all come forward whenever we needed their help. And and to be there to help guide the, these young people on their way, I, I'm very humbled at doing that. Emma, this has been a year where it's been relatively back to normal, of course, last year. So many disruptions with COVID, and though it's still around, but mostly back to normal in a lot of ways. Uh, how has the difference in this year being a little chaotic, I'm sorry, last year being a little more chaotic, this year not so much, has that changed your approach? How has it affected you preparation-wise heading into this season? Well, I think with golf, it didn't affect me that much last year because, you know, we don't really have that much contact with other players. But I think it's just better to have less worries, like more tickets at state and more people being able to come and watch us. It, that Just knowing that you have more support coming this year is a lot more comforting. This will be your fourth appearance at state. What does that mean to you, to know that every single year you've been in high school, you've had a chance to compete for the state title? Um, <laughs> I, it means a lot. I, originally, I didn't even know that I was going to be playing golf in high school. So to go every single year of my high school experience is amazing. Bridget, you're Mulcahy. A lot of Mulcahy's have gone through recently and had a lot of success. Did that add any additional pressure to you kind of carrying that name? Did they say, oh man, she's, she's got to be like the others or it, it doesn't matter. Did you feel any of that or has that not even been an issue? Um, a little and not a little. I mean, sometimes people are like, oh, you know, how do you feel about being the twins' little sister and all that? But, you know, when I talk to them, we all kind of just joke around about it, and it really just, it doesn't really affect me that much. You know, I just try to play the best I can every time I play. You guys have played fantastic, especially in state over the last few years. When you come into a season and you're looking for your fourth state title, what is your mindset beginning the season? What is your, what is your preparation? I guess, Bridget, I'll start with you and then Emma chip in. What, what is your goal? What are you looking to do when the season starts? I think my goal is to just, my goal in as a team is to just be better than I was last year. You know, I've already improved so much from my freshman year to this year. I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> I was so bad. <laughs> but um, I think my goal is just play one day at a time, one tournament at a time, and to just compare and see how much better we've gotten as a team and as an individual player. And I think from the start, we all play in summer league. So I think from the start, we're like, OK, so we're going to start early, and we're going to start now and play as much golf as possible until it's state time, and then play our game when we're there. 
you guys start early, especially in the state tournament. One of the things I, I know you've talked about in the past, Coach, is getting off to a fast start. And usually by the end of the first day, you guys have a pretty large lead. In fact, your win over Tusky Valley was by, I think it was more than 50 strokes, I think is what it ended up being. Um, is that part of the game plan? Do you try to see just how well you can shoot that first day? Because your scores on that first day have gotten lower every single year. I try not to know what they're doing when they're out there. We, as, as Bridget said, we try and almost take it every stroke at a time, and it'll be what it'll be, and, and hopefully we've played well enough to, to be in the lead at the end of the first day. That's our goal, but I, don't, uh, I know with scoring that they have now that you can actually know the scores as they're going along. People try to tell me. I really don't want to know. I want to focus on how they're playing and not worry about what's happening. We can't do anything about anybody else. All we can do, focus on is what we can do best, and that's what we hope to do. And along with focusing on yourself, is, are there any teams that you are uh, looking at? I know you're focusing on it, and golf really is a mental game. You're more competing with yourself. But are there any other teams that you're, you, you kind of have in the, in the back of your mind that you're kind of looking out the corner going, oh, man, they're, they're, they're doing pretty good? Or they're a team to definitely watch as you head into state this coming weekend? Well, it's, it's difficult. I, I think about the only – I'm not even sure I know all the teams that are coming down there. The only one that – we've played some of them. Uh, we know who they are, uh, and, and we've become friends with some of those teams. Um, so, but I don't know who we're paired with, so I'm not even worried about it. They, they haven't posted that yet. So when they do, then I'll really take a look and see who we're playing with. Looking forward to having highlights of you uh, guys next week on the Sports Report. And in the meantime, good luck at State, and we'll be pulling for you, and hopefully LCC brings home another state championship. Help Head Coach Dan Reineke, Emma Mayers, Bridget Mulcahy, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you.